Hello there. Today we're going to talk about the Southern Oklahoma Technology Center's millage election scheduled for February 10th, 2015. There's three things to consider. No tax increase, 2.5 for building fund, and a permanency is a must. Now wait a minute. How can there be 2.5 mills for building and my taxes not go up? Really? Yes. I, I see. Okay, so because of careful planning by the SOTC Board of Education, the 2008 bond issue will expire at the same time the 2.5 mil building fund would begin. That makes a lot of sense. That means the tax bill I receive yearly will look pretty much the same as the 2014 as far as SOTC is concerned? What? SOTC's part might actually go down a little? That's crazy good! So there will be two questions on the ballot. The first is the 2.5 mils for the building fund and the second is to make the millage permanent. Wait, why does it need to be permanent? Huh? So after a 2002 law allowed it, most schools across the state made their millage permanent so taxpayers don't have to pay the expense of an election every year and it allows them to plan ahead. Hmm, I, I remember voting for that. Well then, SOTC is just being practical like all the other schools. Wait, I wonder why they need the building fund. SOTC is one of the only career techs in the state without a fully funded building fund. That puts our programs at risk because we have to use the money we could use for learning on building maintenance. That's terrible. So this money will not only help maintain SOTC, but will help secure safe rooms for students and eventually help build two more extension centers. That's awesome. Hmm, what happens if they vote no? Taxpayers will only save about $25 per year on a $100,000 home? SOTC will have to cut back, hurting programs, students, and workforce training that drives our economy? Let's recap. So, no tax increase, 2.5 for SOTC buildings, make it permanent and save tax dollars. It's a no-brainer!